In this video, we're going to look at changing display colors. The software allows you to change display colors to make the colors more visible when you're working with certain designs or certain colors of backgrounds. Go to Design and Background, and we will alter the lower part of the dialog box. Selected objects normally turn pink when selected. Sometimes it's hard to tell when you're working with pink designs when an object is selected, so you can change the color. Unsewn stitches refers to colors that are shown when you're traveling through the design. This will be covered later in another video, but you might want to change the color of this for dark objects. The object outlines can also be changed in color. Again, it's more appropriate when you're working with darker objects and it's easier to see a brighter outline. The grid display can also be changed when you're working with certain backgrounds. This dark gray, for example, that was in the background here would be hard to see if I kept the grid lines as dark gray as well. Guidelines can also be changed in color. And the needle points can be changed. When you're working with primarily white designs, it's really hard to see those needle points. So you can choose a new color for the needle points. And I'll click OK to activate those changes. Now let's first deactivate Show Artistic View. And when I come and click on the design, notice how it now changes to turquoise. I'm going to deselect by clicking outside the design and notice the yellow outlines. Remember, I ch changed the object outlines to yellow. And when I click on the object outlines, it will show the color as yellow. If I activate the grid, it will show in the orange color that I changed the grid to. If I add a guideline by clicking on an area of the ruler, you can see that the guidelines are more readily visible as the yellow color. I'll zoom in here and activate needle points. And I change the needle points to green and you can see that it, they are much more visible on the white areas of the design. Now, all the changes that I made are specific to the one design that I am working with. When I go back and choose a new design or a blank design, the default colors will be activated for that design. When I open a new design, or open a blank design and insert a design into that blank design, the software reverts to the default display colors.